is, is just always mysterious and surprising. And all, you never know what's around the next corner. You never, you never know what's around the next corner. Alright, what's up guys? Uh, just doing a little bit on the truck today. Uh, putting the rear wheels back on. Uh, in the last video, I took them off to paint the drums and I just left them off for a couple of days to let them dry. It's been really cold so I just wanted to let it cure as long as possible. So I just threw the wheels back on and uh, now we're going to try and get the master cylinder uh, mounted today. Uh, so let me show you what that looks like. So I got this goodie in, pretty fancy. Uh, I'm super excited about this master cylinder. The brake pedal I have is Will Wood, and I already knew that the master cylinder I wanted to go with was Will Wood. And uh, this finally came in. There's a lot of parts and pieces. I have an adapter plate too that uh, goes with uh, my pedal um, and everything. But this is the whole kit everything except brake lines so I'm gonna see how much of it I can put on today and uh, that's what we're gonna work on all right so in order to mount the master cylinder to my truck using this pedal this is a Willwood 7 to 1 uh, you need this adapter plate the reason is this pedal has vertical mounting holes uh, it came with these studs pre-installed and you have to remove them um, because they would stick out and hit the master cylinder. This adapter plate converts the vertical holes to horizontal holes like the master cylinder and then gives you these uh, countersunk bolts. They drop in there just like this. Boom. And they go on the outside of the firewall. This goes on the inside obviously. And bolts right in. So on my firewall, I got my mounting spot ready and I beefed this up and I've got the vertical holes and the center hole figured out. I just have to drill now the side holes and I was waiting to get the master cylinder and everything to figure out which holes to drill. Um, underneath I have this support bracket going up to the dash, uh, that should help with flex. I may have to add more later, but um, for now it seems like it's going to work. And then I've got holes up top that line up with the pedal to, to bolt it in. And like I said, I just got to screw a hole or drill a hole on either side of there uh, for the adapter plate. And we should be good to go. Good to mount this thing up. Alright, so I got the uh, adapter plate on. Uh, all I gotta do now is scribe the holes uh, to drill those out and I got it tightened up so everything should line up where it's supposed to be and the pedals hanging in there now so that's what that looks like so now I can uh, scribe these holes and drill them out all right uh, I got it on kind of temporarily cool pedals in uh, I don't have the rod connected um, but it's in <laughs> yeah look at that so this is pretty much all I wanted to try to get done today uh, I'll probably tinker with it a little bit more but yeah 
super excited to show you this and uh, we'll see you in the next one take it easy